Hello. In this tutorial we will show you, how to design your own book index theme, to control the styling for every element in your book index. You can do this through the index templates feature, in the PDF index generator program. Index templates allow you to specify the colors, fonts, and many other styling options, that you might want to use in your final index, written to the PDF file. PDF Index Generator comes, with a number of index templates that you can use directly to write your book index. Here are samples for some index templates, that the program has written for book index. You can modify any of those templates as required, or even create new ones. Let's see how to do that in the program. We are now in step 4 of the program. Our index is ready to be written to a book. We will write the book index, using one of the program default templates, to see how it looks like. Then we will make a copy of it, modify it, and customize its look, to be suitable for our book design. Click on the select template link. This list shows all the available templates. Select the space saving template, then click OK to apply the changes. We will write the index to a new PDF file. Click the start writing button. OK. Done. Let's check how this template looks like. It looks good. But we will make some modifications here, so click on the Select Template link, once again. Click the Copy button, to make a copy of the Space Saving Template, to modify it. We will rename it, Custom Space Saving Template. First change. We prefer to have two columns of index terms, per each page, instead of three. So, in the general tab, we will set the number of columns to two, instead of three. Second change. We would like to change, the background color of the index pages to a light gray color, instead of this white color. So, in the general tab, Click on the page background color button, to open the palette, and set the color to a light gray color. Third change. We would like to reduce the index page margins. So, in the general tab, we will reduce all margin values, for the top, bottom, left, and right margins. You can see the changes made, in this preview label. Fourth change. We would like to set the font styling used for the page numbers here, to be italic. So, let's scroll and move to the page numbers tab, then click the italic button. That's enough for now, but please take your time checking the other settings available. You can modify the font used for the index title, the letters used in the index, from A to Z. You can also modify the font used for the normal words, the header and subheader words, the cross references, and the paginator. The paginator is the page numbers written for the index pages section. So please spend some time checking those settings. You can modify them all as required. Now, we will click Save, to save the new template, then click OK, to apply the changes. We will write the index once again to another file. We will rename it, Index Custom. And click Start Writing. Done. Let's see how the new index looks like now. The index now has two columns as specified. And the margins are decreased. This saves much space in the index, 
resulting less number of index pages used. The background color of the index pages is now in light gray, and the pages numbers are written in italic. As you can see, index templates are very powerful. If you write many books, then you can create a new template for every book that you've got. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.